Welcome to Homestead for the round of the Ford 300 on the pole for tonight's race. And the final race of the season is Chris down to the outside, Joe Sandrovich. Only 72 points behind Jeff Wright and the point standings. Payne Beasley is third. Tyler Selspin is fourth. Cole Deaver is fifth. Jeff Wright will start the race in the seventh position. Now some interesting uh, notes here. If Jeff finishes the race in 16th position, he will win the championship even if Sandrovich leads the most laps and wins the race. Now, of course, if it's less than that, Jeff can finish a little bit lower and get it. Pace car to pit road, 30 laps here at Homestead. A lot can happen in this one race to decide the championship. Green flag, we're racing as Yuki Haishi did not get going down on pit road. Into turn three, they will come. Chris Dow has cleared the pack around, along with Payne Beasley. Sandro starting to fall back. Jeff Wright gets by him. Sandro up to the high lane. And off the corner, Chris Dow leading lap one. Now there are three wides. Jeff Wright could be able to get clear and get down to that bottom lane. He will not. He might start falling backwards. If they get close enough, though, this could be a wreck. And watch Sandro back there. He is in a mess. Four wide for Sandrovich. He backs out smartly. Dan Ban gets around. Payne Beasley has gone around to the lead. Oh, Jeff Bray hit the wall. Almost came down in front of the pack and wrecked. Cole Deaver looking for the lead now. He's going to get to second as they are racing for every position behind. Jeff Wright in the middle of this. One small slip and Jeff Wright ends up in the wall. Crashed. With about 15 others. Off of four. They're still racing hard. San George is back there. Almost. Tommy Turbo almost spun. And if TJ Henley makes it four wide, that could. Whoa, look out, look out. Ron Arden and Tyler Selspin make contact. Cole Deaver looking for the lead. Three wide. Trist out all the way to the bottom. He gets underneath. Dodd wants one last win before the season ends. Just still lead. Jeff Wright continuing to fall back. Tyler Markle is now up here, battling for the win. If Jeff Wright can, can just keep the 22 in his uh, windshield, I think he'll be fine. Because he has 72 points to work with. Now, Gamer Dude looks for the lead. Self's been starting to fall back just a little bit. Maybe he got a little low there. Can get a run off. And Chris Dodd cross over to the bottom. Dodd's car looks awfully strong here tonight. We just have to keep it like this for another 25 laps. It's a long race. And you think this is wild? I can't wait to see what the. Uh, the Joe Rutt 5 Zeros Cup race will be like tomorrow night for the championship. That championship pretty close too. As in the chase, Nat Wagner leads it by eight points over uh, Jordan Bell, and then on, and then uh, Jeff Wright only leads 53 points over Chris Dodd in the full season standings. Now back for the lead, Nat Wagner gonna take it. And Chris Dodd finally starting to fall back. We've gone away with it a few times before he'd get down to the bottom, but now the whole pack's starting to come back together. Selspin so went up the track to try and slow Dan Band's momentum. Now Wagner clear the pack. Let's go back to Jeff Wright. Looks like he's back here just lurking. But Sandro is on the bottom, making up ground. And Jeff Wright's actually in the position he needs to be to lock up the championship. But Sandro will go around him. We haven't had a wreck yet. Look at this. Championship contender sandwich. Levi Shones in the middle. Sandro down bottom. Jeff right up top. Right trying to get a run off the corner. If he can clear Levi Shones, he can get down to the bottom, but that's not going to happen. Watch it. Wow. Chris got all the way up against the wall. Markle, TJ Hanley, 
Noble's in a three wide. Sandro is trying to gain positions. Look at that four wide. Dodd moving backwards, but there are four wide. Selspin to the lead. If you're focusing on these championship contenders, let's go back up to the front. Where we see Nat Wagner and Tyler Selspin right now fighting. Jeff Bright's still stuck on the high side. The front few have gotten single filed. Oh, they're still racing close back there. Look at this. Unbelievable how some of these guys are racing. Nat Wagner peaks low. He's going to take it here by the end of the front stretch, maybe. Oh, we got... Look at this! Cole Deaver through the middle! Three wide! There's still three wide for the lead. Cole Deaver's going to take it, isn't he? Cole Deaver right now has it. Nat Wagner, the bottom of three wide, might get it. And watch Dan Bandon. He has not had the best of seasons. He wants to close it out with a win. And TJ Hanley's right there. One at Daytona. That's the only one they have this season. They're going to try and cap it off. Four wide for the lead. Classic Homestead. Down the back. They have not wrecked yet. I don't know if that's going to stay the same or not. But man, oh man, this is some great racing. Tyler Sell's been looking for the lead. Underneath TJ. Dan Ban got the wall. Keeps it going straight though. T TJ will lead that lap. But Tyler Sell's been looking for more. Chris Dodd's coming back up. Sandroge is up here. The only problem with Sandroge is he has to get to the lead and lead the most laps because now Jeff Bray's in the bottom lane. Frantic racing here at Homestead. They're back to three wide for lead. Cole Deaver likes to split that middle. Does he clear paint Beasley down bottom? He does not. Beasley slides up into him there. Four wide again for the lead. They might be fine. Whoa. Wow. Rakowski's car got really tight there. And Chris Dodd almost made it five wide. Now Jeff Bright starting to fall back again with Sandro coming up to the front. Whoa! Wow, look at that back there! They have been four wide so many times in this race. This is more than any other race, I think, besides Daytona or Talladega. Jeff Wright finally got cleared to the bottom. Can he stay down there is the question. Cell spins through to second. Chris Dodd looking for third. Halfway right here, Payne Beasley leading. I think Chris Dodd right now led the most laps. He has... At the beginning part of the race, his car looked very strong. It looks strong now. He's come up through the field. Sandro right behind him. Jeff Wright still mired back there. Last time across the line, Wright was 17th. And Yuki Haishi actually never got going. So we actually have only 39 cars in this race. Sandrovich for third. And back in that big pack is your points leader, Jeff Wright. Oh, San George slid up. Look at this advantage that Tyler Markle's going to take. And Markle is Jeff Wright's teammate. He's going to try and do anything he can to put San George backwards. Obviously, he won't wreck him. But San George is actually surrounded by a lot of uh, Jeff Wright's teammates up here. Tommy Turbo's coming up to the front. Chris Dodd is right in front of San Drovich. Tyler Markle's right behind San Drovich. As Selspin takes the lead. Chris Dodd's gone back to third. Sandroge has actually stayed in fourth. He's looking for third now. Is Chris Dodd looking for the lead, maybe? Dodd underneath Selspin. That car is fast. Nat Wagner almost clipped Sandroge trying to make the pass. 12 to go right here. And now Sandroge starting to fall back. He really has to stay patient here, but he's making it three wide middle. He's going to clear all of them. Or he's going to clear Wagner. He has the whole bottom lane open. He's going to have the top lane open soon. Sell's been falling back. And Sandrovich is through to second. This is so reminding me of Atlanta last race. Was 20th on a restart with 9 to go. We had written him off. We were going to say, oh wow, he lost. he's going to lose a lot of points. And in the end, he finished the race in second position. 
He's looking for the lead. Cars have come down pit road. Jeff Wright, Jeff Wright is on pit road. That's your championship leader as San George battles for the lead on the back stretch. But who comes down pit road is the question. San George is coming down. Dodd stays out. Tyler Selspin stays out. If Kasha comes out, this could ruin some chases or some championship chances. Looks like everyone's going to get stopped in time. Now, where does Jeff Wright come out? There he is coming out. Right where he was. San George is in. Let's watch his pit stop. The only pit stops of the night going to round out here on this lap. So where do these guys come out that pit first? Where do they cycle through? San George is coming off. Out and away. You would think San George would have stayed out at least one more lap to try and lead. But maybe this was part of their strategy to try and get out in front of Chris Don and others. Here comes Cold Eaver, Jordan Bell up to speed. They're coming up. They're up to third and fourth on track. Jeff Wright's starting to pass Payne Beasley. Wright has gained positions from that pit stop. He's going to pass his teammate Marco right here on the high side. Or actually, maybe not. Oh, tight! Now where's Chris Dodd and others? Chris Dodd just exiting two. He might lose that lead right here. San George coming with a full head of steam. Jordan Bell looking for a second. I think they're, he's going to keep that lead. San George will be third on track right now. He might get to second, but Chris Dodd has the lead. Eight to go right here. San George looking for second on the high side. Chris Dodd leading. There's a slow car up ahead. It's Hoover. Who's a little bit slower, so they might actually catch him. San George third is second. But Jeff Bray is inside the top ten. It will not help San Drovich if he gets a win today. Or tonight. He's gonna need something bad to happen to Jeff Bray for him to win. Seven to go. Nat Wagner to third. Sell's been dropping back. Here comes Joe Sandrovich. Let's go on board as he makes this pass. Sandroge clears Chris Dodd, but Nat Wagner's down to the bottom. Sandroge has not let a lap tonight. Is that going to change here? Oh, Cole Deaver almost got spun by Jeff Wright. Look at how close they are. Almost hitting each other. Sandroge leads the lap. Cole Deaver and Jeff Wright almost wrecked right there through three and four, and they're not done yet. They might wreck right here. The front contenders may wreck. Sandroge out in front. Five to go this time. Jeff Bright will not lose any positions, well, will not fall far enough back, it looks like, to where he will lose the championship if San George wins, unless something happens to him. And with lap cars ahead, something could happen. Five to go. self spin to second. Jeff Bright has stayed around mid-pack all night long. He's, his car has come alive. He's up to third. But can they run down San George? Sandro just won seven races this season, looking for his eighth win. Selspin trying to make that, trying to change that. He's looking to the inside. Wagner looking to the inside right. Jeff Bright, three wide. Oh, Selspin had to back off, and Bright's looking for the lead. Two championship contenders battling it out at Homestead. They're side by side, even down the back stretch. Bright will clear Sandro as they come off a of four. Three to go. They have Hoover in front. Will they catch him? Three to go at Homestead. Sandro is trying to keep second position. He knows he wants to win in case Bright has an engine failure, a tire go down, gets stuck with the lap car. And Rex or something like that. Chris Dodd trying to fight back on the bottom with Payne Beasley. They are four wide as they come to the line. Two to go at Homestead. Oh, Nat Wagner spun into Chris Dodd and Cold Evert. On the front stretch is the caution out. Caution will come out. Who leads the back? 
This is the final lap of the season under green. The battles for second behind Jeff Bright. Can he get past Hoover? They come into three and four. Bright is ahead of everyone. Sandrovich fighting hard for the final win this season. Sandrovich won the first race. Can he win the last one? Side by side to the light. It's going to be Jeff Bright. Jeff Wright, not only will he win the race, he wins two in a row in the season and will win the championship at Homestead. Chris Dodd actually kept it going. He will end up 11th. Sandrovich got second. He will have to pass Tyler Selspin. Oh my goodness. What an amazing race. It's going to be so much fun tomorrow night. For the Ford Performance 400 at Homestead, the final race of Season 2 for the Trevor Cup Series, Jeff Bright will end the season with a win. And not only that, he wins the championship. Down the front stretch to the line, checkered flag, Jeff Bright, your two, Season 1 Target Series champion. Sandrovich finishes second. That will be where he finishes the points. Kind of fitting, too, that Sandro finishes there. He's finished there so many times this season, probably more than anyone has. As they all come across the line, let's see what happened to bring out the, the first and final caution of the night. Here they are, coming to take two to go. You can see Nat Whitener all the way up against the wall, and he hits it. Gets clipped by Cole Deaver when he comes off. Hits it into Chris Dodd. Ron Arn gets damaged. Dodd and Cole Deaver hit the wall. Deaver in the inside wall, spins it back up into traffic. Luckily, no one nails him. But NASCAR had to throw the caution. That was a safety concern there. And this benefited Jeff Wright, who wins it at Homestead. You saw this lap car almost came to factor. Sandro almost won it. But Jeff Wright led them back to the yellow and white flag. Sandro made a run on the bottom. It got loose. Maybe if he didn't get loose, he would have got it. But man, how he edged. Look at how, how close that is for second. Sandro barely got that. All right, let's go to the finishing results. Here are the finishing results from the 4 300 at Homestead. One caution flag for one lap. 15 lead changes among nine different drivers. Jeff Wright ended up winning the race, led four laps. Sandro finished his second, he led three laps. Third was Tyler Selspin, he also led three laps. Rakowski finished fourth, and fifth was Jordan Bell. Payne Beasley ended up sixth. Seventh was uh, Nat Wagner, they both led laps. Uh, Comic Cover finished eighth, Tyler Merkel led lap in ninth, and tenth was Ron Arn. Search the top 20. Arguably the dominant car of the night. Chris died to start on pole. He ended up 11th after being involved in that wreck, but man, he might have had something in those final two laps if that caution didn't come out. He had the most laps, nine. Down here, TJ Hanley led the lap, ended up 18th. Dan Bannon, who was up front for most of the race, ended up right behind Kevin. Uh, Dan finished 20th. Look through the rest of the field. You see back here, Cole Deaver led a lap, ended up 24th in this race. Names down here that we didn't really talk about at all tonight. Cole Lewis, Jose Fernandez, Aiden Shepard, Eli Bright, Adam Mihal, John Gilbert, Jim McFarlane 2, Levi Shones finished 38th, Yuki Haishi didn't even get to start the race. Problem with that car. All right, now let's go to the final point standings. Here are the final point standings. After 29 long races, Jeff Bright gets 5 wins on the season, 11 top 5, 16 top 10s. He completed 94% of the laps. He ended up winning the championship. Only 77 points separated he and Sandrovich, who got five or five poles, seven wins, 13 top fives, 17 top tens, but four DNFs plagued him. He only completed 89% of the laps. That's what plagued him from winning the championship. Payne Beasley ended up third. John Gambit, an impressive run. Fourth Tyler Selspin rebounded that two team up to fifth in the points. They're outside the top 10. I don't think they're in the top 20 at the, the midway point of the season. He ended up getting them up to fifth with three wins, two of them, some of the biggest races of the season. Jordan Bell ended up sixth. Seventh was Tommy Turbo. 
those stats definitely do not show how his season went. That five team, they should have won about the same amount of races that Jeff Bright won, that Tyler Selspin won. They were in the hunt for many of them, just could not pull it off. Nat Wagner ended up eighth in the points. He led, or he fin he won three races, two of them in a row. Uh, Tyler again Dover and Chris Dodd ended up ninth in the points. He led, or he won two races. And Joe Rakowski, 10th, definitely not the season he wanted. He didn't get to win a race. He only finished in the top five twice. He got passed on the last lap for one. But still a solid uh, season for him, top 10 points. You see down here, Tyler Markle, 15th. He was down towards like 30th in points at one point of the season. He ended up coming back up, rebounded well, 15th in points, eight top, eight top 10s. No top five, surprisingly. That seventh team always seemed to just... They couldn't get it done. And down here, Griffin Lynn so close to a top 20 in points, only 9 points away. Cole Lewis was 22nd, Ron Arnn 23rd. See some drivers down here that just had miserable seasons, seasons they want to forget. Hopefully they'll be back for season 2 and stronger than ever. Alright, so I'll see you guys for uh, season 2 signups.